Hey guys, wanted to jump on here and do another quick little video. This is probably really, really simple stuff. Most people know this, but uh, if you don't, hopefully this is helpful. So I'm gonna show you, we use this stuff right here, True Blue for a lot of our uh, plumbing, low pressure stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to plumb up a Hudson float valve. This is what we use. So basically, let me see if I can unscrew this with one hand. And I'll go through those parts. Maybe I should have left it loose. But anyways, there we go. Sorry about the hand there. So you can order these online, or if you're local to us, we do have some in stock. But uh, this is a one inch to one inch male. This is a, a banjo piece. We get these, we have these, or you can order them from Granger or wherever you can find them. So this goes in here. I'm just going to screw it in. We're going to use the true blue when we install this into the tank up here. But so that goes in there. And then this is, I've already done some true blue, but let me pull this off. There we go. So this is a bulkhead. This is one inch. So this goes into your tank. So we would screw that end up there. You'd Get yourself a hole, a hole saw, find the right size. Um, you can easily just put the hole saw fitting over that to, to figure out that. But anyways, once you get that, once you get the top of your tank drilled, this screws into that because this bulkhead is already in your tank. And then this is the piece that goes into here. Now there's better ways to do that. We actually just ran out. Let me show you. Banjo makes a fitting that already has a barb on it. Unfortunately, this one is three quarters and we're using one inch, we like one inch for the flow. So if you can find like one like this through Banjo, these are the best to use. Uh, we're just gonna use what we have. So same difference. But uh, this piece on the end of that is the same as the piece down there. It's just one inch to one inch. So this, once this is in the tank, this just screws into there. And then that's on the top. We'll turn it to whatever way you want. And then this is the Hannah hose reel. We have a one inch male thread to a one inch barb. And that's just gonna run right up there. We're gonna use a one inch crush proof hose. And I'll show you what that looks like when we're all done. All right, just to recap again, real simple video. It's hooked up there. I showed you guys how that connects. This is a one inch suction hose. We have a bit of this here at our shop. Uh, we get it from Manatee Pressure Washing in Florida. 
That's good stuff. We use this for fill hose and also the suction hose to the pressure washers. All right, guys, hope that helps somebody plumb a Hudson float valve and water inlet to your pressure washer.